Keep going. What changes for a hitter when you get that deep into a count? Because I mean, he, especially somebody like Hosey's obviously getting educated with each pitch. Um, he kept using the cutter, kept using the cutter, and then he got one in the nitro zone and didn't miss it. So um, unbelievable at bat by him and obviously a big blow for us right there. More fun to watch him hitting that grand slam or him running the base? Running the base. I mean, I like them both. Uh, it's just, it's just what he does. I mean, he makes stuff happen. You know, he steals the base, gets to third and, you know, if you if I think I haven't watched the replay, but it looked like he wasn't going to go, but then saw the pitcher and then realized he could make it. So, I mean, it's just heads up. He's aggressive. He's smart. Um, <laughs> he's everything you could want in a ball player. As a former catcher, when you have a, a winner like that, what, what, what kind of pressure can that put on you? Guys? Yeah, I mean, you're always you're always on your toes. You got to be thinking he's going, he's not going. Um, you're always aware of where he is and it takes your focus maybe off of the other jobs. I mean, anytime you have somebody that can cause havoc and that's what our team does um, and just going to continue to put pressure on people. Um, you know, there's a number of things, you know, I thought his, he had had a couple innings with his pitch count getting up there and just looking at where we were in the game. Um, you know, it was a perfect spot for for Tim to come in versus the, their their lefties. And I just, I had to make a hard decision. I didn't like it, um, but sometimes it's what you have to do. And, um, you know, you want him to go back out, but at this, at that time, I just felt like it was time to move on. Talked about inherited runners being a big stat for you. Uh, and, you know, two inherited runners scored in this game, but we still came out with the lead. So that's what you're looking yep. for. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's never going to go perfect. Uh, if it does, <laughs> that's great. But the bullpen was unbelievable today. Um, ask them to do a lot of things, a lot of them coming in. Um, some of them at times that they're not used to, you know, Gaddis coming in in the sixth hasn't done that much um, as of recent, but just the way those guys just take the ball and go out and get their hitters um, couldn't ask for them to be any better. And, you know, they were, they had great at bats today. They were putting traffic on the bases. They were putting pressure on us and our guys were able to hold them off. It sure seems like that's your style to try to cause chaos at the base pass. In, in, even just in general, how many guys seem to have the green light on their own versus, you know, get inside of the dugout when it's time to stay? I mean, everybody's got the green light until they don't. Um, there's times where it's we, have, we put the red light on. But, you know, I trust our guys um, to, you know, they all do their homework. They all study up. And, you know, we we, we want them to be themselves. And that that's how that's how it's always been. What have you thought of Will Brennan lately and the, the power he's shown? I mean, he's squaring everything up right now. Uh, we talked about it, you know, well, about a week ago. He'd been in between. Um, he's on the fastball and he's able to make adjustments to the off speed. And uh, just, but it's just the quality of at bats right now and the pitches he's swinging at. He's making really good swing decisions and impacting the ball when it's in his, his damage zone. So um, he couldn't be more thrilled with the way he's swinging the bat. Well, I think well,